Flag review. Flag review. Hello everybody, my name is Brady and we are back with another edition of Flag Review. For those of you who are new to the channel, which according to my calculations is most of you, I'm going to explain what this series is again, just to reintroduce it to everybody who is just hopping on. Flag Review started as a joke, I just wanted to take some flags and say what I like in a flag and what I don't like in a flag. It's not educational, it's not scholarly. I purposely shy away from scholarly language because I don't want this to be taken too seriously. I actually have ideas for a more educational flag-related series, maybe some point down the line, maybe when I get bored of doing flag review. But as of now, this is all kind of just light stuff of me talking about what I like and dislike about flags. And your opinion may completely differ and Really, there's no objectivity to any of it. I, my, my whims sway from one way or another. So I also take suggestions from you guys. So if you have any flags that you think are interesting, aim for obscure ones. I, I'm, I'm looking for some weird ones. Uh, let me know in the comment section below. And in the next one, I believe I'm going to be doing your suggestions. But today we're doing U.S. State Flags Part 2. I did a handful of the U.S. State Flags, and now we're going to be doing more. And we're going to get them all done. Uh, th for those of you who are not from the States, U.S. State Flags can be a little... Nah. Um, we're going to start with Connecticut. And this one is close to home, literally. It's uh, the neighboring state. Uh, something about this crest, something about this logo feels very much like a sticker. You know what I'm trying to say here? There's something about how it sits on the background that just really makes it feel like it, it, it's, just a, it's just slapped on there. And I'm not usually a huge fan of crests. I, uh, there, there's something about it that just doesn't flow or bl like blend into flags in a way that I like it. Uh, but that's not really my least favorite part about this. I am definitely not a fan of the little ribbon at the bottom with the writing, as many of you know. I'm not a huge fan of writing on flags myself. I think flags are supposed to be symbolic. They're supposed to represent stuff based on the imagery and to write anything on it. Despite the fact that I don't know what that says, I think that personally takes away a little bit. Um, Style-wise, this flag doesn't really do anything for me. Uh, these we, we got these little... Uh, berry fruit things here i that doesn't really do anything for me and this little thing with the vine and the leaves uh that doesn't really do anything for me either there's it, it's not like it lacks any sort of creativity or variety in it it just doesn't come together in a way that i enjoy in a flag i i lean towards simplicity but sometimes you can go above and beyond and uh, it will reward you, but this one isn't really doing it for me. I'm going to give it a 1.5 out of 5. Delaware. Oh, Delaware, what have you done? We have some interesting things here, and it breaks a lot of the, the rules that I set for a good flag, which, of course, very subjective there. We have, uh, first of all, writing at the bottom, and it's a date. That, that's a thing. And we have the writing on the ribbon here in the middle in between the dudes, and it says liberty and independence. Okay, that, that's an interesting thing you got there, but I'm a little bit opposed to that. I don't necessarily mind the soft colors here that it uses, this like soft greenish thing that they got here and this like soft yellow. I'm actually totally cool with that if what is in the middle pops in a way that is fun. It, having these soft colors is going to draw my attention to the center. So it all matters whether or not I really like what is at the center. And I don't think I do. I, I think it's a little much. I, I'm not a huge fan of like drawings of people on flags. This is definitely not as bad as like the Liberian County one that has like the arm coming in. That one was not a fun one. So this one isn't nearly as uh, upsetting. But it doesn't quite meet the standard that I would like to hold a flag to. Let me look at it in comparison with the Connecticut one. Um... I think I like the Connecticut one just a little 
bit more. This one gets probably a one for me, one out of five. It's just not my style of flag. I would like to see what else we have. Okay, we got Florida, which is very similar to Alabama, which is also not necessarily the most original of design. I've already talked about Alabama, and I said Alabama, Alabama's fine. It doesn't necessarily stand out, but it, it's a fine flag. The only question is, does this seal here do anything to help or hurt it? Um, Every state has its own little seal things, and honestly, I prefer the seals to be a separate thing from the flag. The flag is one thing, seals are another thing. When you put them together, I feel like it um, takes away from the flag often. I kind of like the design in it, though. I, as like a standalone design, if this was seal review, this one is not all that bad. You can get far more complicated with state seals, and I, I'm, I'm actually totally down with that. I don't necessarily hate this one though um it's probably the best one i've seen so far but there are definitely elements that bug me by which i mean just this one element right here in the middle i, I just don't agree with the choice of putting a state seal on a flag it, it, i like that it's very similar to the alabama thing and it's like oh there's alabama and he, here we have alabama plus a seal I, I don't know what that's supposed to say about Florida and Alabama. I don't know what kind of similarities they have. Um, I know that they're often uh, the butts of many jokes, but otherwise, I don't know. I'll give this one a two. No, one point. I'll give this one a 1.5. I'm, I'm still not really huge into it. Let's do the next one. Okay, Georgia. Oh, we're, we're taking a completely different route with this one. Of course, we're going to talk about the fact that it has writing on it. That takes a little bit away from it. I'm not really opposed to the picture on it entirely. I don't love it. I don't love this little picture in the corner, and I, I'm usually opposed to, like, the in God we trust on things, kind of on a, from a moral standpoint. I, I don't know if that necessarily needs to be on a seal or on a flag or on the money. I... I like to leave that stuff out but that's that's very personal um i don't mind this kind of simplified version of the u.s flag it doesn't necessarily get creativity points for that i think this one is better than some of them that i've seen i might give this one like a 1.5 out of 5 and i don't expect many of the u.s state flags to do that well because they're not known for being the most beautiful flags in the world they're very interesting in their designs but not all necessarily good so yeah that that one's uh that's actually one of the slightly better flags i've seen so far so there we go next flag Oh, Hawaii. Okay. This is the second Union Jack featuring flag that I've reviewed, but I've still not reviewed the Union Jack. So I don't want to go too much into the Union Jack itself yet. Uh, but I will judge this kind of on the basis of what it is. It's very busy. And the busyness is sometimes good if it makes really good use of the space. But there's something about this one that bugs me, especially with its use of colors. I think the U.S. flag falls under like a... a, a the current U.S. flag is like a three. Like the stars in the corner are a little bit busy and I don't really even care for the, the little corner square things they got going on. I, I'm not, usually not a huge fan of that sort of thing this kind of takes a lot of the things i dislike about the u.s flag and kind of amplifies some of the worst things i think adding an additional color into the stripes makes it even more unnecessarily busy and the way that it uh meets with the union jack it doesn't necessarily complement it so i'm actually really not a fan of this flag this one is uh this one's a one for me. I, I, I'm the Hawaii flag has never been one of my favorites, though. I'm kind. It kind of makes me happy to see it because I love how many. Uh, well, it doesn't have a huge quantity of colors, but I love how dispersed the colors are. But it's just not put together in a way that appeals to me. 
Idaho. Okay, now here we got another state seal flag. I don't know if I... Let me let me look back to the Florida one because I, I want to do some comparisons here because we're if we're looking at state seal We need to get a little perspective as far as state seal flags go. I don't hate this one I th this is actually a pretty nice state seal. I'm, I'm not sure entirely what it represents, but I I'm not opposed to it. So now let's look at this one this seal Is a little bit interesting this one has harsher lines than this one this one seems very gentle and i i really enjoy that the harsh lines of this seal doesn't really do it for me as much and i don't necessarily like uh the amount of contrast between the black lettering and the yellow for some reason that's not doing it for me either uh the heavy outlines and the and stuff that that's not fantastic i'd say this one like a, a 1.25 maybe I it, it's not the worst thing I, I did still don't like the banner thing at the bottom either US state flags are not always that great I've had a few that I've given like really good grades this particular one has not been going well though so next flag Illinois okay okay Illinois let's let's have a conversation here I actually don't fully understand the Illinois flag, so maybe somebody can enlighten me as to why it is the way it is. Um, the fact that it says the state's name on the flag, that's even worse than just having uh, the text on the ribbon thing. Like, that's one thing, but actually having the state's name on the flag, I'm much less a fan of that sort of thing. Um, and then you have... Uh, numbers on it and then you got it. and it's it seems like it's splitting a ribbon that says st state sovereignty and national union so it's splitting state sovereignty and national union that's interesting um i don't know if that's going to be interpreted the way that they want it to i don't even know how they want me to necessarily interpret that um I guess state sovereignty, sovereignty and uh, national union are often uh, conflicted, but the fact that it's splitting it, that some, something about that feels far more negative than I would expect. I don't expect flags to give me that sort of vibe, and I'm sure I'm not supposed to read into it like that, but that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. So let's look at some of the other things. We got these little, little, uh, little spiky things, which I assume are... Uh, very dispersed grass. We've got some little shade in the water. We get to see the little ripples there. Um, that adds not necessary uh, detail. I, I, I like it when flags are more simplistic. And the sun. I, I'm actually interested in the sun. Like, it's not symmetrical. I, I, I do kind of like how it, like, moves around the uh the eagle like this and i it's an interesting way to lay out a sun but this has some good things it definitely has some good things but i think it's a little bit messy it's a little bit uh excessive in all that it throws in there i'm gonna give this one a 1.5 i think there are elements that could build a good flag here i'm just not sure exactly how i would rearrange it is that really it is that all i did i've been going through these faster than i thought i would um so i don't need any more suggestions for u.s state flags i'm going to be doing them in alphabetical order excluding my own state and uh uh mississippi mississippi yeah mississippi uh because uh i'm still waiting on the new mississippi flag so that that's a thing um, so I'm going to be doing all of the U.S. state flags. I need suggestions for things outside of this. I want national flags. I want local flags. I want to do more themed flag reviews where I take on maybe... I was thinking of doing like Canadian provinces or li little things like that. Like in the same sense that I do U.S. states, I could do like smaller territories within larger nations and i think that would introduce me to a lot of flags that i don't often get the opportunity to see 
So I'm thinking about that. I'm sorry that this one was a little bit more on the downside than the upside. We have had some pretty decent U.S. state flags, and if this is your first impression, honestly, it's usually a little bit wider variety of ratings I give. This one just happened to uh, not be. <laughs> so I hope you guys found some joy in this video. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with another React video as normal. And I will see you guys next time. If you like this video, like this video, subscribe for more, and leave me your suggestions, because I need them to keep this series going. Thank you, and goodbye.